Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to fill up your Zippo hand warmer, which comes in a pouch like this. Um, first, this is your burner, and this is where the lighter fluid goes, but before you put any lighter fluid in it, you have to measure that the right amount of lighter fluid is in fact being put in it, so let me just... Uh, get the cap to this Ronsonol off and unfortunately I uh, I don't have any Dixie cups or anything like that to help me uh, show you the exact dose but the things come with this here and it uh, says Zippo on it on the bottom and it says half full and then all the way at the top which is full so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna Drench this until it's somewhere in between half and completely full, which is like 75%. Okay, so we're going to keep putting the lighter fluid in. Now, a half a full is good for like uh, six hours, but you're going to want to get 12, uh, a good, uh, 12 to 24 hours out of it so you take the burner off then on the inside here you put this in and squeeze and this will start um, filling up the cotton inside the hand warmer with Ronsonol lighter fluid and you're going to want it to get all over the inside so you just shove that nozzle in all the slots there and one thing I will get into is the burners are um, meant to wear out eventually the Zippo hand warmers they do have a, a life a shelf life of uses so Let's just uh, empty this guy in here. And it can be a bit of a hassle to get all the lighter fluid in there. But there we go. Okay. Now this here is the burner. Okay, it doesn't look like much, but um it's got some intricate parts at the top there. Uh since the burner is the part that uh needs replacement and uh is the part that keeps the thing going. I like to use a non-butane lighter like a bit like a Bic because a butane is just a really um high amount of temperature uh, a it's a torch so a lot of uh temperature is going to be um applied if you use a butane lighter and what you basically want to do here is you want this burner to start using the lighter fluid that's being evaporated into it and using that as fuel to heat the rest of the Zippo hand warmer and you do have to keep the flame on it for a good 10 to 20 seconds and keep going now let's see yeah, you see that little bit of redness inside? That redness shows that uh, it is, in fact, warming up. Right here where my thumb is, I can feel it getting warm, so I know the body of it's getting warm already. You want it to get as warm as, you, as, warm as possible before you put it in the pouch. And when you put it in the pouch, you want it to have as much breathing room as possible because uh, no uh, warmer that works by a flame or a, a burner like this 
can work without oxygen. Oxygen needs to get to it for it to get hot. In fact, if you were to uh, put this under your uh, uh, thigh and smother it, it would go out and uh, you'd be left with a uh, lighter fluid ready to go and a burner ready to go, but it, it would have no uh, source of um, oxygen to keep that flame going, so it would go out. So what you're going to want is you're going to want to hold it down at one of the corners and once it gets too hot for you to hold it, uh, that's a sign to uh, put the cap on and put it uh, inside the pouch. But just wave it a little bit around so that the burner gets that oxygen. I like to blow in it and make sure that uh, I see that redness there. And uh, make sure when you put the burner on right before you put the uh, lighter to it that it is on there sturdy. And right now when I hold it here it's really hot. Uh, the reason you put it in the pouch for the most part is so that you don't burn your skin off. Um, these things do get very very warm. Um, however the new pouches compared to the old ones that they had uh, they're thicker and they give off less heat and I don't like them as much but for ten dollars for a online for one of these uh, Zippo hand warmers with the new pouches I'm not complaining. So now I'm going to put the cap on, and when I put the Zippo hand warmer in the pouch, as you can see, I'm going to leave a little bit of the top air open, just so not, uh, enough so that it can breathe, but not enough so that it can fall out by accident. And by this way, the top, right where the burner is, where the air goes, the top will um, allow it access to uh, air to the burner. And um, if it starts getting just warm and not hot, set it off to the side for a minute or two and it'll get hot. When you grip it, it's a lot hotter. Um, these things are great. They last 12, sometimes more than that hours uh they're great for camping hunting anything uh even standing outside there at uh the bus stop waiting uh they're great for that um and they just keep going and they're not like a fire hazard threat uh the, the you have a the, a lid that goes on top of the burner for that and there's just nothing to worry about and it's pretty hot in my hand here right now um I would recommend uh, filling this up and then filling up something that is uh, like this that you have access to a lot of that you can find out the dosage in order to put in here in case you lose this. But then again this nozzle is another thing you don't want to lose because you need it to squirt deep into the uh, nooks and crannies of the Zippo uh, hand warmer there. And that being said I used the uh, Ronson all lighter fluid and take care.